So next up, podcast listeners, we have the media throws softball questions to Joe Biden. That's right. The media throws softball questions to Joe Biden during his press conference. Uh, yeah, if you want to call it that. So, so Joe Biden has a press conference. And it's so obvious that the media, if you want to call them that, have been given the questions that the Joe Biden campaign wants to be asked to Joe Biden. And so behind Joe Biden, and that's why we're calling this also the Decision Desk President podcast, <laughs> it's because behind Joe Biden, behind him, and if you're watching, you can see this. If you're not watching and you're listening to the podcast, I'm going to describe to you, there's a graphic behind Joe Biden during his, during his actual press conference, and it says, Office of the President-Elect. <laughs> Office of the President-Elect. In other words, it's been decided that he is the president-elect, that the Electoral College has met, they voted, and this is the president-elect, namely that he will be sworn in January 20th at noon next year. That's the suggestion of the graphic, that he is, it's the office of the president-elect, somewhere in Wilmington, Delaware, I guess. So <laughs> we have these, we have a number of clips on the the media being complete tools and throwing these softball questions to Joe Biden. And you have to think to yourself, gee, if it were Donald Trump, what kind of questions would they have asked? Uh, what kind of questions did these same media outlets ask Donald Trump during the four years that he was in office? Did it ever look anything like this? Anything? Well, if you want to ever see some softball questions, you want to see what it's going to look like for the next four years in the event that Joe Biden is chosen uh, and fully elected and the electors vote for him on December 14th. If you ever want to see what the next four years are going to look like, well, this is it. We have the first question of the softball questions, and here it is. I also wonder, you warned during the campaign that as the walls closed in on the president, he would behave more erratically. Yesterday, he fired his defense secretary on Twitter, are you worried that he's disabling the government? And what are you saying to the world leaders who are calling you at this point about the situation here? <laughs> so, pretty straightforward, right? Uh, you know, if you were a real member of the media and you were truly a journalist, she would say, um, you know, Mr. Vice President, uh, can you tell me what you think about what the president has said about the fraud that has occurred primarily in Philadelphia, but in other um, and other American cities where there have been now a substantiated uh, claims, and they have been substantiated, of dead people voting. Why? Because we have the fact that they voted, and we also have the death certificate that shows that they're dead. So clearly, that's fraud. That would be a, not a bad question to ask. But no, the media lobbing those softball questions, and as I said, the Biden team, ladies and gentlemen, are, they are completely and utterly providing these questions to the press because we don't have a press anymore. We don't. It's just an arm of the Democrat Party. Everybody knows it. Um, certainly not the people that voted for Joe Biden, but maybe some of them do, and they accept that that's the way it should be, which makes it even worse because you need an independent, critically thinking press in order for a democracy to be able to survive and to thrive. So we have the second softball question, this one's really good, and here it is. Mr. President-elect, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has suggested today that he may not recognize the outcome of this election until the Electoral College meets next <laughs> month. Have you spoken to your longtime uh, friend in the Senate, Mr. McConnell, and what do you make of his specific comments over the last 24 hours? I haven't had a chance to speak to Mitch. Uh, my expectation is that I will do that in not too distant future. <laughs> Can you believe that question? This is actually a member of the media asking Vice President Biden that Mitch McConnell uh, says that we have to wait, you know, for the Electoral College to meet to know who has actually won. And, <laughs> and this guy, the member of the media, doesn't even seem to know that that is a requirement. He doesn't even seem to know or understand what the Constitution... This Here's the thing. Why wouldn't you, as a member of the media, whenever you have an opportunity to do so, provide some background 
to the American people when you ask a question and say, you know, Mr. Vice President, the electors don't actually meet and vote until December the 14th. Um, don't you think it's a little odd that you have office of the president-elect behind you when the outcome of the election is still uncertain? There's a question. There's a question. But no, instead, this tool from the media is like, well, Mitch McConnell and you are really good friends. That's a bunch of nonsense. They're not good friends. They're not good friends. There's no way. There's no way. Do they work together in politics because they have to? Because that's the way it works? Yes. Good friends? I don't think so. So we have the final clip in this segment where the media throws softball questions to Joe Biden. And here's another good one. Here it is. Sir, what do you say to the Americans that are anxious over the fact that President Trump has yet to concede and what that might mean for the country? Well, um, I just think it's an embarrassment, um, quite frankly. Uh, the only thing that, uh, how can I say this uh, tactfully? I, I think it will not help the president's legacy. I think that uh, I know from my discussions with foreign leaders thus far that they are hopeful that the United States democratic institutions are viewed once again as being strong and enduring. And they can only be strong if you actually follow the Constitution of the United States, which spells out exactly when you are the president-elect. And President and Vice President Biden is not the president-elect, not yet. But once again, the media is literally fed these questions from the Biden campaign. And they're trying to, the media is, trying to undermine not only the Constitution of the United States, but the actual voting process in the United States. And they're just saying, no, nah, don't pay any attention to the, you know, the questions that are being raised. Don't pay any attention to the fact that 91% of people in Philadelphia voted, which I find absolutely impossible, by the way, impossible. Um, <laughs> just not, just didn't happen. Don't pay attention to any of that. In fact, we, the media, we're not gonna pay attention to it either. We just want you to criticize the President of the United States because he hasn't yet conceded. Well, that's not what Joe Biden said in the first debate with Chris Wallace. Because in the first debate with Chris Wallace, he was asked, Biden was asked that very question. And listen to Biden's response. We have that clip. And here it is. Vice President you think Biden, that's good? And, and Vice President Biden, final question for you. Will you urge your supporters to stay calm while the vote is counted? And will you pledge not to declare victory until the election is independently certified? Yes. And here's the deal. We count the ballots, as you pointed out. Some of these ballots in some states can't even be opened until election day. And if there's thousands of ballots, it's going to take time to do it. And by the so way, so the vote hasn't been certified today. It's not certified. But yet, the vice president of the United States is saying that he is now part of the office of the president elect. But the vote hasn't been certified. And that same vice president said in the first debate with Chris Wallace that you got to wait for the vote to be certified. And all the way, and all, also, it's going to take a long time, says Biden in the first debate. After Chris Wallace asked the question, it's going to take a long time to count all those absentee ballots, which indicates that this man, who has clearly lost some cognitive ability, knew back then in the first debate that all of those absentee ballots would take plenty of time to count until such time as they got the desired result, which is what is happening in this particular election. And it's also why 71 million people really are questioning really are questioning the results of the election and whether or not it was a free and fair election and that all legal votes were counted. But nonetheless, the Biden has proven that he's a complete tool as well because he's saying, he said initially, <laughs> that, as, you heard, as you heard in the clip, he said initially, no, the vote must be certified. And now, of course, Biden in his softball media uh, uh, press conference, the softball media press conference, you heard just a few of those questions that we just played for you in those clips where they're not even trying to address that issue. They're not even interested in what the vice president said in the first debate, which by the way, is also enumerated in the constitution of the United States. They don't care. They don't care. 
because they're, they are part and parcel of the Democrat Party without question. 